everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share some more classic color combinations. And today I wanna to focus specifically on the color gray. So just like the other videos in this series, I'm gonna go over what the color gray means, how it makes us feel, and then some of the easiest colors to pair with gray. So that if you're looking to add this to your closet, you can do so really easily and with a lot of versatility. So let's get started. Let's start off with what the color gray means, what it represents and how it makes us feel when we look at it. So the color gray is very much in the middle in between stark black and stark white. And because when we think of a true gray, it does lie right there in the center, it has a tendency to feel very neutral and take on a neutral quality in our closets. And I think that's very accurate. It's also a color that's so interesting because it feels conservative and reserved, but you have a tendency to manipulate how that color feels if you lighten it or darken it. So when you add more white to it, it takes on a very floaty, almost ethereal quality, and it can feel very light and bright. But when you darken it, it can take on an even more serious quality, feel even more reserved, more conservative, and very sophisticated. It's such a beautiful color, and I find it to be really versatile in wardrobes. And then also, when you put gray with another color, it has a tendency to darken or dampen that color. So it kind of mutes everything out, making it really easy to work with. So if you have a bright color, you can pair it with gray and kind of soften it all. Add kind of a little filter over everything. And then lastly, like all colors, you can warm them up or cool them out. And when we think of gray, we tend to think of it as right in the middle. But I think that finding your perfect gray that's the perfect level of warm and the perfect level of cool is very important. And gray can feel totally wrong on you if you get the wrong version. So definitely experiment here, play with it, and try on a lot of different grays until you find the perfect one. Now let's go over some of the easiest colors to pair with gray. So since gray is very much a neutral in pretty much every sense of the word, you can definitely work with every color under the rainbow and it will definitely have a softening effect like we talked about at the beginning. And so you have a lot of versatility and a lot of play here. And I personally think there are very few rules surrounding the color gray. And it's also one of those colors that unless it's really dark or really light, you kind of can't tell how cool or how uh, warm it is. So it gives you a lot of play within the other colors that you pair with it. Now that said, I think one of the easiest colors to pair with gray is blue and every version of blue, whether that's a rich navy or something like a light airy sky blue. And then of course, something right smack dab in the middle. And the reason I think this is so beautiful is because blue in and of itself feels very calming to look at. It feels very sophisticated for me personally in a lot of iterations. And when you pair it with a color that has that similar tendency, they copy each other so beautifully and our eyes read a lot of balance and harmony. Definitely one of my personal favorites. The next color I want to talk about is pink. And I love pink with gray because gray reads conservative and neutral like we talked about. And pink reads very feminine, slightly innocent and romantic. When you combine the two, you end up with a really interesting contrast and you can inject some liveliness into that gray. This is also a really good one to consider if you feel like your pink is a little too much for the, wherever you're going, you can pair it with gray and kind of mute it out. And then if you feel like words like conservative and reserved and slightly austere words and feelings associated with colors don't really align with your personal style aesthetic, you can inject the pink into them to really balance that out and bring some vibrancy back. Definitely one to consider. And then along those same lines, red and burgundy and maroon are also so beautiful, but like I've talked about in past color videos, I think burgundy and maroon reads so sophisticated. So when you pair them with gray that has an equal level of sophistication, magic happens. And it's definitely one of my favorites. I've really been loving the color gray more lately and pairing it with those uh, colors like burgundy has been something I've really enjoyed. And you can also consider this one with your makeup because you can wear gray and then wear a burgundy lip or maybe even a kind of burgundy eyeshadow color and really bring some of that energy back into the gray. I just think it's so beautiful. Another color combination that I've really been loving lately is gray paired with stone. And I love this so much because it appears in nature a lot and it's one of my favorite ways to get inspiration for color pairings. And specifically here, when I think of gray, I think of clouds, kind of overcast feeling, misty mornings, and specifically those in association 
association with the beach or the ocean. And when you look at that landscape, you always see that paired with stone color. It's very familiar and very, very beautiful. Another way that I really like to work with color is to take a color and then break it down to its pieces and pair it with those colors. So when we're dealing with gray and we're looking at black and white, pairing it with either black or white or maybe an off-white is such a beautiful way to play with that color and everything's going to fit and harmonize really beautifully. So specifically here, I think if you want to go dark and do charcoal with black, that's very sophisticated. It anchors the gray a little bit more because I think black has a tendency to do that. But then if you lighten it up with white or off-white, it feels so dreamy and you take kind of that cloud feeling and it literally looks like you're floating. Both of them are so, so beautiful. Since the color gray is truly a neutral and it kind of mutes out other colors like we talked about at the beginning, you can pair it with any color and it will work, but there are three that I wanted to call out. So the first is orange. Because orange is so energetic by itself, going with something like a gray neutralizes it in such an elegant way. You don't see this one very often, but it's very beautiful. And then the next one is purple. And this is similar to blue. It feels very mystical and kind of dreamy, but also a little bit serious. And it also injects a little bit of romance into it. And it's one that you see in sunsets against a cloudy sky. Really, really gorgeous. And then the last is green because I love green. So any shade of green, but specifically kind of darker greens, mid to dark green, goes so beautifully with gray because again, we see clouds, we see kind of misty mornings and all of that gray feeling in nature paired with green grass, green trees, and green plants. So anytime you look to nature, everything's gonna balance in such a beautiful way. And then of course, gray paired with other shades of gray. Anytime you take a color and then pair it with another version of that color, you create a beautiful harmony. Everything fits. It's a very cohesive color story and it shows that you're interested in fashion and interested in color, but that you want things to stay a little bit more reserved. So specifically within gray, you can increase the level of formality and how conservative it feels if you go dark on dark or go light on light for kind of that airiness and make it feel like you're floating in the clouds. And then if you're going with a dark gray paired with a light gray, you can really balance them out in a way similar to black and white, but a little bit softer really, really beautiful. So like always, I hope that you found this helpful and inspiring. I think specifically with gray, finding your perfect shade of gray makes a world of difference. So before you write off all gray, definitely start playing around with some and maybe go to a fabric shop and look at different colors and different versions of gray and hold them up by your face and then go from there. And when you find the right one, I think it's magical. So like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.